Hi guys, welcome to this YouTube channel. So today I have a new topic for you, which is uh, Shopify store speed optimization. So how you can do yourself. So I will be suggesting you a few tricks uh, which you can apply from your end and you have no need to hire anyone else for doing this specific thing. So there are, uh, there were actually uh, some comments in the comment section uh, where someone asked me the question that uh, you should, I should create a video for you so that I could uh, uh, give you some tricks that how you can uh, improve your Shopify store speed. But to be very frank, I'm working on from last one year and I have uh, already experienced the things and I'm also working on uh, coding uh, also from back end and I did the customization into the Shopify store. So I will be sharing you all the stuff uh, in a trustworthiness. All right, because it's my responsibility to make you aware about the important aspects which are uh, which are important for your uh, your business as well. So make sure that uh, if someone is asking you for this specific purpose, so you should not give them the access of your code because this is really uh, not a good thing to give the access to other one uh, for your optimization of your Shopify store because this is really an easy process to do. And uh, in fact, there is no need to do all the stuff which you are expecting like other technologies like WordPress or maybe on any other technology if you have already developed a website. So let me tell you uh, what are the important facts that you have to keep in mind. So first of all, for example, you are uh, developing a store on the Shopify, then you already know that you are getting the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you are getting the uh, domain and hosting facilities from Shopify, Shopify itself. So what does it mean? It means that they are providing you all the things related to your uh, website management. And even you are paying some amount to them on monthly basis that is called a subscription fee. And that subscription fee they are taking from you because they are going to give you some facilities. So what are those facilities? Those facilities are, uh, they have provided you uh, all the stuff in one place and you can easily customize uh, everything if you are not uh, aware about coding. So in uh, other than that, uh, if you have the um, doubt related to the, the speed of your uh, Shopify store, so how you can solve this specific problem? So the first thing is that uh, the code is not in your hand. Uh, Shopify, ha Shopify has only enabled a uh, few uh, things for you to do the customization, but not all the stuff. For example, there are some JavaScript, some CSS. So they have already managed in a proper way. So you have no need to worry about that, how you can do the optimization by yourself. Because if you are going to do all this stuff, then definitely you will break the code and you will have to reset everything on your store. All right, so you have to keep in mind that if you are not a technical person, then you should not uh, do anything with your coding side because Shopify has already provided you some facilities to do some uh, customization from coding end and the backend part or maybe database part is already managed by Shopify. So what is in your hand is like, you have only the access of your uh, images which you are going to upload onto your store. For example, you are uploading some banner images, some uh, product images. So you can do one thing. You should first of all, uh, uh, optimize all those uh, images I mean compress the images online and then after you need to upload those images uh, onto your store so in that way you are going to compress those and the quality of uh, and uh, you should make sure that the quality of that specific uh, image should not be reduced but still you have to keep in mind that uh, your image must be compressed for example you have a 2 MB uh, image size so that is a uh, big size image all right so if you are uploading that and if some users are visiting onto your website then they are getting the problem related to loading your website so you should avoid such bigger uh, banners and bigger images uh, while uploading uh, onto your store all right and if you have already uploaded few images when you are going to import some products from your uber low then what you have to do is you have to upload those images from the Uberlo and then you should download all those 
and create a folder uh, according to the specific product and then after you should uh, you should compress all those images and again re-upload onto your store so in that way uh, you will have uh, the compressed images on onto your store and the speed definitely be improved and if you are thinking that you are going to install a specific plugin so just keep in mind that plugins are going to in uh, reduce the speed of your website why because they are going to add some extra javascript and you already know that if there would be some extra javascript onto your website then definitely the speed would be reduced so i mean that the speed of the website would be reduced so make sure that you should reduce number of plugins installation if you have if you have already number of plugins on, installed onto your website then you should delete few uh, plugins because if you are going to delete that means you are going to reduce some code from your website from your shopify store so you should avoid such type of plugins if you are thinking that someone has suggested that if you are going to uh, get this specific paid plugin for your theme and your website would be optimized they will only compress your images nothing else why because i already mentioned you that your whole shopify store has been managed by shopify itself so they are already adding uh, the code in an optimized way so you have no need to worry about that how your uh, website is going to be optimized all right because the coding part is not in your hand so how you will be optimizing all the stuff so you only have the option to uh, compress the image size of your store otherwise you cannot do anything because the code they have already written and they have already taken the access from you if you are using any basic plan or maybe a normal uh, shopify plan so keep in mind that you should avoid such type of mistakes otherwise you will mess up everything uh, into your store and at the end you will have the your website would be broken all right there would be some links there would be some uh, new issues into your website so keep in mind that you should avoid such type of mistakes so that your uh, store would be managed easily and if you are st uh, still thinking that there is some issue into your website then just connect with your shopify store te uh, support team and they will be helping you out with the stuff which you are interested to do they have the chat support they have the email support so you should uh, send them the message that from these many days i am facing this specific speed issue so they will they will be suggesting you the proper solution that how you can reduce uh, how you can improve your uh, website speed and what is the cause of uh, the problem all right so you have to keep in mind that you should focus on uh, the cause of that speed uh, i mean uh, loading speed if if the loading is slower then you have to uh, keep an eye on the specific cause that why this speed has been reduced so you should you can confirm only from shopify store team because they are going to review everything from their end and they can suggest you in a better way so in the same way if you have any other problem with the store then you should not connect with any type of developer because you already uh, getting the subscription plan plan from your uh, shopify store i mean shopify and they will be helping you from every aspect all right so these are the helpful things that you have to uh, always keep in mind if you have any payment issue if you have any uh speed issue if there is some broken links onto your website if you are your website is not loading properly or maybe you are thinking that your website has some virus issues or you have any problem with your dashboard or maybe orders and everything so i mentioned you that uh, the code is not into in your hand they have only given you the access of few uh, things in which you can do the customization and other than that on in the front end you have the full access front end means you can upload the image you can drag and drop you can create the pages you can uh, do minor stuff but you cannot interact with the database operation you cannot interact with apis which they have integrated and you cannot interact with the coding part that they have done from their end so they have the analytics they have the tools from from where they can uh, analyze your website so once you are going to send them the message uh, by email or maybe from the chat then they will be analyzing your website properly and they will be uh, focusing on a specific thing that why what are what is the reason uh, of the uh, slow speed so definitely they will be helping you out with such stuff 
So I already explore, explored a lot of videos on the YouTube and people are just uh, giving the uh, tips that this is the way to uh, in, uh, optimize your website. I mean, they are suggesting some plugins to install, but I will recommend you that you should directly go through your Shopify teams, Shopify team. All right, because they are better uh, known for their product. So they have the proper, uh, I mean, they have the analysis of their product. So they know that what's the cause of their, uh, what's the cause of their uh, speed, all right. And in some cases, uh, for example, you have uh, some uh, websites hosted on any other hosting provider. So you definitely have to keep in mind that hosting has also a major role on the speed of your website. If they have added you, added your website on a, a shared server, then definitely your website would be uh, slower. And if you have a dedicated server, then your website speed would be improved. So Shopify is taking the subscription. So they have already given you the um, uh, proper uh, server um, for your website. So they are not uh, giving you any problem on the way. So you have to believe on them and you should focus on the solution uh, which they will be providing. For example, you have added some customized code onto your website and maybe because of that, uh, your uh, website is slower down. And in some cases, uh, people like uh, uh, who are considering themselves that they are expert in Shopify. So maybe they will be suggesting you that uh, we can do the optimization for you and you will be giving them the payment that please uh, do this stuff so that our website speed uh, get improved. And definitely uh, you will get to know that they are going to compress the images only because they don't have the access of their database operations. They can never edit the code. They can never do any other stuff uh, like um, uh, minify. Mini there are other alternates like uh, if you have the website on the WordPress or maybe any other technology, then you have the option to minimize the uh, CSS or maybe minify the uh, JS, JavaScript. So in most of the cases, JavaScript, the, uh, JavaScript is the only reason of uh, websites uh, slower down. If your website uh, speed is uh, slow, so that means there is some additional JavaScript uh, that is uh, creating the problem. All right. So you have to keep in mind that uh, your JavaScript must not be added onto your website. If you are thinking that someone has added any uh, uh, plugin, then you have to analyze first that that plugin is uh, good for you or not. So if uh, after doing the proper analysis, then you will get to know that the plugin should be in your uh, store or not. That will give you the proper solution. Otherwise, you will be messing up the code and at the end, you will be getting nothing. You will just frustrate from the uh, coding and maybe your website has, uh, website would be broken. And because of that, you will think that uh, your website must be uh, um, uh, reset. So definitely at the end, you will be connecting with the Shopify team and they will be resetting everything. All right. So these are the uh, few things actually people are commenting. Okay, no problem. So people are suggesting me that there are something, there is something. Okay, no problem. So in the tomorrow's video, I will be taking a new topic, but for today, I thought that I have to share this specific truth uh, for your Shopify store optimization, because if someone is asking you for this uh, solution, then definitely you should not, uh, you should ignore their uh, point of view. And if uh, still you are thinking that someone is suggesting you a better solution, then of course you have to do the proper analysis that uh, you should ask the questions that how you will how you will be optimizing the website. So you should ask the questions like, will you uh, minify my JavaScript? Will you minify my CSS uh, style sheet? Will you minify any specific logic? There are certain reasons like if you have and the multiple conditions, if you have more loops, uh, into your code. So if there those would be reduced, then definitely your website performance would be improved. And you should ask this question that uh, to the specific person who is suggesting you that uh, he has the way uh, to optimize your website. So you should ask them the question that uh, can you optimize my code as well? So what plugin you are going to install? So what is the role of that plugin? 
uh, will there be any will there be any problem for my website later on if i'm installing that plugin because in some cases you are going to install the plugin and later on they will be uh, asking you for the uh, new payment i mean subscription payment that you have to give some amount and on daily basis you will be getting uh, the um, i mean optimization related stuff so there would be the option like you should ask them the question that specific plugin would be helping me to optimize my uh, uh, images i mean compress the images so if these facilities are over there so after doing the proper analysis then you should uh, you should consider the solution of that specific developer uh, to who you are thinking that uh, he or she must be hired for this work all right otherwise i already suggested the simple solution that while uploading any specific image to your uh, shopify store you should uh, first of all analyze the size of that uh, that image and then compress and then upload and definitely definitely you will be solving your problem yourself without having uh, i mean without having any problem all right so these are the few things that i thought that i have to share with you so in tomorrow's video i will be uh, coming up with a new topic and i am also going to uh, create a new uh, video on stripe account activation and i will be helping you that how you can create an account and then how you can activate the stripe account uh, so i will be adding the link below in the description later on and for now uh, that's it so if you are a new one on this channel please subscribe the, this channel because in the coming videos i will be uploading a lot of stuff which would be solving your uh, daily basis problems so in the next video uh, i will be trying my best to come up with a uh, new and a wonderful uh, video for you so that you get to know that how you can solve your daily basis problems related to uh, any specific technology related to any website maybe apps so if you have any question you can ask me the question on the comment section so i will be definitely helping you out with uh, the queries which you will be asking for me and if you have any topic which you are going to suggest me then uh, then i will be Uh, giving you the reply and i will be creating uh, that type of website for you uh, i mean that type of uh, video for you for a new concept whichever you will be suggesting so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one mm -hmm.